Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at another change in Unreal Engine 5's rendering, and that is shadows, uh, how it deals with shadows pretty much. So I'm going to show you what virtual shadows is all about. And what I'm going to do is set our Space Marine right here because I think he actually fits the scene better than that chick. Look at this. He looks amazing, doesn't he? All right. So if you create a new project in Unreal Engine 5, this is going to be on by default. But if you're migrating things from your projects, from 4.26, you're gonna have to turn this on, okay? So if I go to Edit, Project Settings, and I'm gonna type in Virtual Shadow, you're gonna see the Shadow Map method is already set to that. But like I said, if you're migrating, yours is probably gonna set to this. So this is the before, and now this is the beta of the new Virtual Shadow they're going to. So right away, you can actually see the difference, just like that, so it's kind of cool, right? Before and then after. All right, so the shadows, the way it renders shadows is affected by local lights and directional lights. So what I'm gonna do first is show you local light, which is like a point light. So I'll create point light. Definitely not a point light that I just created. Create a point light right here and spawn behind him, so that's okay. And I'm just gonna create a light right here so I can show it a little bit better. Now this is casting two shadows, because like I said, directional and local. So this shadow right here is coming from the directional. I mean, I can turn this off if you want, but it's going to make the scene a little bit darker, so that's okay. And I'm going to move this a little bit closer to him on the side. Just side light him a little bit, because there's something cool that this thing is actually doing. All right, so here we go. We have a point light right here, which is local, and I'm going to turn it on and off. And this is set to preview because it's set to uh, static. We'll change that to movable. Once we have everything set up, there is one setting that you have to change in the actual light itself, in the properties, and that is source radius, okay? So basically what this is trying to mimic is, like in the real world, the bigger the source, the softer the shadows, okay? So if you think about it like that, it's the same way. So if I increase this to 10, you saw the shadows change softness right away, okay? Change it to one so you can see it, sharp, soft. Okay. Additionally, if you want more softness in that shadow, you can also use a cheat code. Turn on our output log right here. It should be right here. And there's a couple of things we can do. Now, we are using point light, so we have to use the point light one, which is r. Oh, I'm not typing. R dot shadow virtual smrt. Okay. And what you're looking for is samples per ray local because we are using a point light, which is a local light. And we'll talk about directional here as well in a second. So I click this. I'm going to press enter so we can see what it's set to. It's set to one, right? And if I maybe move it to four, see the shadow on the Space Marine on the floor starts to get softer. And if we set it to eight, that's even more softer. But you just have to be very careful because this can probably affect the performance of your scene. So just use this kind of like, be be very careful when using these settings. So one right there, as you can see, it's just pretty sharp. Still, it's soft, but it's still sharp. Uh, if I go to four, it's softer. I think four is pretty good balance, to be honest. And what's cool about this is too, is in real life, the, the closer the light the subject is, the sharper the shadows. And that kind of mimics it here. And as you can see, it is sharp right here, but as it fades away from the, the Space Marine, it the shadows gets softer. Look at that. Kind of fades away, and it looks really nice. So here we go as a before again. So you can see it's just sharp all throughout, and here's your virtual shadow. Looks really good. And now what I'm going to do is set this to 1 so you can see it, right? Boom. Sharp. Even though it's only set to 1, it still softens as it goes up like that amazing stuff. This is great. Okay, so now that I showed you the local, let's talk about directional now, because this scene actually has a directional light. So if I go to G so I can see that light bulb, and I'm going to minimize this for now, I'm going to delete that light bulb. Okay, so now that we deleted that light bulb, let's take a look at the directional light. It's right here in the uh, world outliner. I just type direct. And for the uh, direction of light, it doesn't have source radius. So you, what you have to actually change is source angle. So I'm going to turn this back on. And here's our shadow. As you can see, side, side lit looks really nice. Now if I change the source angle to 10, boom, soft. One, 10. Beautiful. All right. And additionally, we can change that sample ray per pixel. Same exact way. But instead of local, we're going to change this to directional. So right now we have it set at four. Let's look at one, sharp, okay, four, softer, and if you really want it real soft, turn it to eight, boom. So yeah, that's pretty much it. 
go to one and eight. And this, again, trifecta, nanite, lumen, virtual map shadows to create photorealistic environment in Unreal Engine 5. This is also just beta. So if you want to learn more about this, check out the documentation because not everything is compatible with it. It's beta. We're beta testers right now. So yeah, go check it out. Amazing feature. Definitely nice addition to the Unreal Engine. So you want to make a movie in Unreal Engine 4 using the new MetaHuman characters, but don't know how to do it. Well, I got the video just for you.